Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's go see a guy about a contact lens. You know, I actually <laughs> thought she was going to say, If only there was a guy in a shop that could sell a contact lens, huh? So, yeah, we gotta go over and talk to this guy. Wait, really? Okay. I thought he was just gonna go over and go tink, tink, bam, made it. You don't have any. Oh. So what we really should have done was between chapter one or chapter two, talk to this guy, go to the chapter, and then do that. But because we're so far along in the story, all we need to do really is leave the map of Rogueport, come back, and it'll be here. Thank God. I thought we were just gonna, hey, wait 15 in-game minutes, and then it'll be here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, uh -huh. nothing like that. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, so leave and come back. That's easy enough. Is he gone? Okay, get the, get the lens! Get the lens! Get, get, get it, get it, get it! The entire time they were sitting on a horde of lenses and just thought, you know, Mario doesn't deserve these. But oh, he's coming know, back! Hurry! He put he did put in a special order, so we'll we'll give him one. How about that? <laughs> you can see them shoveling lenses out the window just to make sure that you don't know they had them. Just into into somebody's eye, just more, more. You toss them into a giant eyeball, and it just grows stronger with every contact lens. So we gotta pay ten coins for the lens, though. But that's okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Let's keep taking my money. Whatever. Are we gonna be broke? <laughs> she pulls out the one you stepped on, throws it at you, and then replaces it. In my eye. Ah! Well. I, All right. I, I, we can go through now. Hooray. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh. It's actually a decent part of the city. Hey, hey, star piece! How the hell did you get that? I just ran into the pipe and there it was! Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining about random objects just appearing out of the ether, but... Uh, uh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, look at that big bomb boy. Pianta Parlor, huh? The boss told me to look after this place. Oh, yeah, well, I'm going in. Okay, bye. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks. A Game Boy. I'm playing game, paper game, two game. Oh, it's just instructions. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I don't want to go back to Delfino Casino. Help! Let's see here are slots. They don't have any winnings. Mm. Jester, please. Assure me we don't have to play the stupid games. Not right away. We're just just looking. <laughs> so, yeah. 15 coins for my fiat. Just spend more of my fucking money. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, hell with that. How are you supposed to win that? And then she takes my money. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, you can hold on to my money that I gave you. God. What? A fucking ripoff, jeez. You gotta watch out for those mobsters. All right, well, here's the shop we're supposed to be at. Uh, soup shroom, vulture shroom, uh, dried shroom, life shroom, dizzy shroom, thunder shroom. Okay. <laughs> so much of your money is going away. <laughs> okay, well... I'm gonna need a little bit of cash to make it through this. So. Uh, nah, you've got enough money. Go ahead. 
I do want to sell. I want to make sure I have room for it too. So uh, I'm here to sell. <laughs> yeah, I spent so much money for it, but take my repel cape. Y you know, it actually makes sense that uh, the booze would be hired by a mafia don. Never gonna use this. Hey, I need body bags. Uh, sorry, bags of body that can take bullets but won't get hurt. How about the ghosts? I don't know why the ghost had to put on the cat ears and a bow tie. I'm still trying to figure that out, but then again, this is the uh, fetish paper Mario, so we're figuring out a lot of things. Right, so we gotta buy a dried shroom. Mm hmm. And then a dizzy dial. So, what color is a. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yellow. Oh, man. And now we have a way to see the Mr. Don Pianta himself. It, oh. I figured he would just be back there sitting at a desk going, What do you want? What do you want? Uh, this is Don Pianta. Yeah, his house foreclosed. No. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I got beef. Check it. I'm here for a hit! <laughs> you know... I always wondered what it's like to be a mafia boss. Like, do you always have to rough people up, or do you just have to put on a show for your underlings? No, you gotta kind of rough people up, because if you don't rough people up, people will think that you don't rough people up, and then they'll rough you up, because you don't rough enough people up, but if you rough people up, people will go, hey, that guy roughs people up, so we shouldn't rough him up. Get it? Yeah, but what if we have, like, a pacifist mafia, Don? You got a dead guy, then! <laughs> yeah! Well, it's either that or you just send all your goons after people. It's like, you never did any of the roughing up. Uh, but then again, they might think you're a softie and come after you and try to overthrow you. Okay, you, I get you it. You gotta be a Don. You gotta be tough. You, you, you can't just play nice. I mean, you gotta, you, you gotta bust some heads. Hey, guys, I'm sorry to say your allowance has gone from 15 coins to 14 coins. Now, I I'm sorry to be tough on you, but that's just the way the world works. Oh, well, yeah. I guess your hands are tied, after all. We'll just let that go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, I'm going that to man, kill you now. That man's face is skinned. Come morning. <gasps> so, back to the story. Uh, what? This, this E-rated mob boss's daughter has what? eloped with one of his boys. Oh, no. <gasps> Do we have to take them out? Yeah, not, not take it out, you know. Uh, this is a family matter. We just gotta bring her to him. Or at least let him know where she is. Hey, Vinny! <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, he's looked all over and hasn't found him. Maybe this guy with the mustache could find him. Mm hmm. With the yellow mustache. Sorry, I'm colorblind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how do how do you communicate in mafioso? Yeah. E either yeah, or you just put on your uh, typical brand. I was like, I'm gonna do what I thought I did done to you a long time ago. <laughs> you understand me? I'm going back. It's just so we're clear here. If you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. It might turn very terrible indeed. Yeah. And you know what? If they included a game mechanic where all of a sudden you have really shitty chances at the slots during battles, that would be amazing. Uh, bye, Pietro. Uh, well, excuse me? I just trip over these, I swear! <laughs> Oops! Fell on another one. Well, we gotta find where these two kids are. Gotta be somewhere around here. This is a train. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're gonna try to take a train. 
Okay. I like how his cloud has cool guy sunglasses. Those are his eyes. <laughs> he just always looks cool. Partially heights. I don't need to tell you that that's going to be where another star is. Hmm. Or is it? Well, if it got name dropped, then I would say yes. Hmm. Train's chapter is one of my favorites. Okay. I mean, like all RPG dumb, so I uh, get ready for that. But this oh. is the blip that takes us to Glitzville, and when we get our boarding pass from Don Pianta for finding his daughter, that's where we'll go. Neat. But uh, now we gotta find her, and where? Are we Where's gonna the bitch at, this bitch? <laughs> where are we gonna find this broad? Come on. Happy hey, big, lottery board. <laughs> big board bomb boy. Do you know it? Oh. Okay. His waiting number is 1841. Sorry, I was that went by too quick. So, the Happy Lucky Lottery, you pick numbers, they win each day, buy your numbers, and then check the board the next day to hmm. see if you win. I actually saw something on Twitter explaining how this game works and how if you cheat it, the game knows. Huh. So it, pro it probably knows when you time travel, then. Yep, it does. And then it resets everything to where you have to play the lottery again. Mm -hmm. huh. well, not that much, but I bet it's like, hey, this number is invalid. No way, you gotta buy him again now. Oh, then again, this is Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door, so it probably berates you for it. Yeah. Excuse me? Do we have a cheater in the house? Hey, everybody, this guy time traveled! A cheater?! And then you lose a life somehow. <laughs> you don't even have a life system, but you Exactly. Lose one. <laughs> All of a sudden, this turns into eternal darkness, oh my god. Mario all of a sudden is, has lives. What we need is an RPG, you know, like this, where a, as a game character, and if you do enough bad stuff, you lose lives, and if you do enough good stuff, you gain lives, and it turns out how many lives you have for the final encounter. If you make it through, then you win, and if you don't, you get the bad ending. But if you're able to defeat the final, final boss using only one life, you get, like, the best possible ending, I don't know. You, you, you get a star at the title screen. That is Nintendo's modus operandi. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, you did this nearly impossible thing. Here's a star. Oh, thanks. We put, we, we put a nice little JPEG next to the title screen. <laughs> well, that's just yeah. like, oh, God, which one is it? Uh, oh. Super Mario 3D Land? For getting gold flagpoles on every single level, which is extremely difficult, you're able to play the hardest level. And then when you beat that, you get a star. Are you lost? No, 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 I'm not looking up a guide. Are you lost? Right now. No, no, I'm not lost. Yeah, okay. It okay. is uh -huh. Francisca and Frankie who are lost. I'm trying to find them. Uh, okay. See? Sure. So where did they end up using that guide in front of your face? Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, hey, everybody, UDJ's lost. I'm not- No, they're lost! I'm trying to find them! I told you! <laughs> Stupid YouTube audience and their lost asses. <laughs> what are we gonna do with them? Um, uh, well, um... I honestly uh, couldn't figure it out. Like, I'm thinking of places that we haven't gone yet, but we've gone everywhere. Kind of. Kind of. Now, I'm not going to say bit. Thousand Year Door became a where-the-fuck-do-I-go kind of game. But it isn't very clear on everything you can do. Yeah, but when you think about it, like, just just kind of put your mind to it. It's kind of obvious. So, uh, while I wander around a little bit more, mm -hmm. let's think. Okay. These two are in love, right? Right. And, uh, they, they, they wish to elope. We know that much. Yes. We also know that they can't have gotten far. Okay. Hmm. 
So you think they're in one of these, like, back houses, or...? They could be in one of these back houses, maybe hiding out. But no, this guy's place is disgusting. They wouldn't want to hang here. I mean... Okay. This is the mafia boss we're talking about here. This is the daughter of a mafia boss. And one of his lieutenants, or something. Maybe a captain. Uh, what if she's at the bar? Is she old enough? Well, there was... So... You want to go somewhere nice, and you need to get out of the city. How do you get out of the city? Oh, God. Really? Maybe they're at the docks somewhere. Hmm. Cortez. I thought I thought he said Pianta. <laughs> a great Pianta named Cortez. Oh, there they are! Of course. Hi, guys. Of course. Yeah. And there is a hit on you! Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and talk to the boss. <laughs> oh god, he, he's in for it. Maybe he'll shoot us in the head so it only hurts for a little bit. Thankfully, your daddy's a bad shot, so it'll hurt. A lot. It'll probably get you in the neck. Won't be pretty. <laughs> Somehow he'll hit your earlobe, your non-existent earlobe, and then you'll just be like, No, daddy, please. He's gonna go for my heart, but hit me in the shoulder. I'll- I'll probably live. <laughs> what if the dawn is so bad, he aims for your head and somehow hits your big toe? <laughs> How? The, the, the trajectory could not have- <laughs> Fuck! He somehow curves the bullet and it ends up in somebody else's skull. It's just like, oh my god! Hey, check this out, I saw it in the movie once. Bang! Oops, killed Frankie. Well, we know where they are now, so let's go tattle on Daddy. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. We're going to be the worst type of mobster. The stool pigeon. <laughs> the snitch. <laughs> Mario shall now forever be known as the snitch. I don't, I don't know, Don. Do you think we could trust this Mario fella? Oh, don't worry. I know that he's a good guy, and he's a smart, subtle kind of guy. <laughs> Dapianta! Dapianta! Your daughter's at the dock! Dapianta! Hey, Dapianta! Who lives in the back of the, of the docks here? <laughs> no, Mario comes with a police escort, and he's like, oh, there he is. Get him, boys. Excuse me, well-known criminal syndicate leader Don Pianta? Your daughter is by the docks looking to illegally elope and run away! Mario, what are you doing? You, you're kinda trying to rat me out here. Nah, rat's not really the word. I'd say I'm more like, uh, panthering you or something. <laughs> ah, there's my good friend Mario the Snitch. You know, you know, Don, I've been telling everyone we're the friends. <laughs> hey, I need, I, I need the blimp tickets. I, I don't care about family bullshit. Oh, wait, she came in anyway. Well, I was just thinking he didn't check to see if we were telling the truth. Yeah, well, uh, he gave us about... $350 in blimp tickets for what would be a $5,000 job, to be honest. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Disembowel yourself in front of her. And be sure to look directly into her eyes so she knows never to do it again. <laughs> God, shut up! <laughs> Both of you shut the fuck up already! Wait, you have to, like, loan your daughter favors? Why? He's a businessman, of course. Oh, well, sure. Hmm. 
Well, that's nice. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Stop. Get out of here and live a happy life. See if I fucking care. <laughs> yeah, Mazel Tov. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> No, <laughs> look at that mafia boss with a heart of gold. Never show your face here again. You send the wedding invites to the usual fence. You got it. <laughs> I would love it if he still like helicopter parents the entire thing, even though he says, "Nah, nah, nah, you do your own thing." Is this a blush? You're telling me my baby girl can't have a Merlo at a wedding? <laughs> Yay, blimp ticket! Let's get the fuck out of here and not, not deal with this guy anymore. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's get going before the cops show up. Uh, how hey, did they find us, boys? What's that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, thanks for the blimp tickets. Gotta go. See you, Don. Uh, we came here on an uh, anonymous tip. <laughs> As Mario sneaky at the back. Thanks for the tip, man. Oh, God, <laughs> no. They were just here for a little shopping, that's all. They're not gonna know it was me, right? <laughs> Alright, Glitz and Glamourville. Let's use the rest of our piantas before we go on, just to make sure there's nothing to regret. Let's try some more slots. Maybe we'll win one, who knows? We got four more chances, right? Let's do it. Damn. <laughs> Fuck! Shit! <laughs> you were so bad. Gah! <laughs> what a wrecked piece of shit! Hey, uh, boss, we got somebody tearing down your slot machines. Uh, Duh. Well, I got an email first. Uh, all right. Let's. let's Yellow. See. Uh, first switch to Gumbella. You know, a new place might have people to tattle on. Uh, I guess. I'll see. Two snitches? Are you kidding me? Uh, dead, dead. Oh, Coopley. Coops' is dad. Mario, Coops, how you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great, drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you like Pedalberg more than you used to, to once, uh, once you get back from your adventure, Coops. Ha. So we're heading next. I want you to see the wide world soon. Soon it'll be good for you too, but don't go too far past that front door. Ha ha, from Coopley. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Just n nice work. Uh, I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna... <sighs> Goombella, please. Coops is having a moment. Goombella's like, oh, this is great for my thesis. This is fantastic. I'm gonna... <laughs> Koopas cry like little baby cowards. Okay, we're good. Magna cum laude, here I come. <laughs> Alright. I guess we got a blimp now. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Did you glitch the game? <laughs> no, I, I think it just, just, just... It was just there! Why? <laughs> How? Wh also, do you uh, have to press A to do that? You just run into it. Oh, why? <laughs> we want to make sure the player has plenty of star pieces, so we'll just toss them all over the ground. Oh my god, I love this dirt balloon. It's a very inexpensive airline. You could say it's uh, cheap, cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this blimp takes us <sighs> to chapter three. Oh my God. Of glitz and glory. Oh, I was close. Of glitz and glamour. Of glitz and glory. There is no glamour to be found in chapter three. Only glory.
Take aim at Glitzville. Fire. Get and the there's... star! Get the star! I was just thinking, yeah, Crystal Star is just floating above the ruined city. Good job, Mario. The ends justify the means. Oh, wow! A party city in the sky! It's so tiny. Yeah, we got a bit of a small place for this, but uh, somewhere in here is the third crystal star. Oh my god, this place is like constant Mardi Gras. Mm. Wow! A souvenir shop, a hot dogs, safe block, a what? Wow. <laughs> convention oh. center. This looks Shine so Spry. neat. So many things here. So many people. So much stuff. Oh my gosh. Man, let's 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 look around before we sign off. Oh yeah. God, let's, let's, let's get this shine though. <laughs> Mario, All have right. you ever felt inadequate before? <laughs> Fresh juice. Ooh, a switch. And we can actually hit this. Yep. <gasps> oh! Oh! Uh -huh. Okay. That gets us a chest up here, which is power plus P. Boost my partner's attack by one. Wow! I'm gonna, I think I might equip that at some point. Oh, there's so much stuff. Where does this take us? Yeah, where? Uh, where? Nowhere at the moment, on, it looks on like. On top of Hot Dog? No? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing back there. There's our shop where we can just get items and stuff. Phone booth? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he calling a phone booth? I, I, don't, don't ask. <laughs> Welcome to Mario World. Man, this is, this is gonna be a fun chapter, trust me. Okay, I I'm looking Rad forward to it already. Radically different than anything we've seen and will see up to this point, so... Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! We're gonna join the Thunderdome. Yes! Finally!